Hello, I am doing my December favorites. I'm sorry you guys, I'm setting the clock because I have a lot to show you and I want to make sure I fit it all into a video. It might be a long video, just stay tuned. <clears throat> I'm dealing with a little bit of a cold, so sorry about my voice. I know I didn't get one posted for November and that's why this one's kind of big. So this, with the winter, you know, we're in North Carolina, it does get cold here and with the heat and the hot baths my skin has been really really dry so i've been looking for things that would help and the oil a moisturizing body wash is really good it's super thick it leaves my skin feeling really good and i've been using this to kind of combat the dryness i also started using the Aveeno um, Skin Relief Body Wash. It um, gently cleanses and moisturizes to soothe itchy, dry skin. And it's worked really, really well. Right now, this is the one I'm using. I use, I'm not using this as much right now, but you can see how much I have used. Um, I really like this. It's a little more pricey, but it's really worth it if you're dealing with dry skin. Um, and it's not just my skin, it's my hair too. My, my scalp itched a little bit. Um, I'm just, I have dry skin and it's not like dandruff or anything like that, but I wanted a shampoo that would not only treat my hair but my scalp and I have been loving the clear shampoo and conditioner. Um, it does work on the scalp as well as the hair. It leaves my hair feeling really, really clean. I use both the um, shampoo and conditioner and this one is in strong links I am trying to grow this bob out and um, about once a week I have been using the Pantene two minute deep conditioner and it's really thick let me show you and it really works well I find the hair care line products at the drugstore or the grocery store really work just fine. I don't really pay a ton of stuff, a ton of money for hair stuff. I just won't do it. How, well, I say that, but another one of my favorites, and I lost the lid, is the Bedhead Glaze Haze. This was a little more pricey, too. It was about $17, and it's a semi-sweet smoothing hair serum, and for my thick hair, it really works well on, and it smells really, really good love it um for my skin i've been switching up just a little bit i still love the saint eyes um blemish control apricot scrub i just love it i'm always going to love it um and i'm not been breaking out a lot but i had some little blackheads through here and i've been using the olay total effects seven in one blemish control um facial cleanser there it is works really really well um, speaking of Olay I have been using their the Olay Regenerist micro sculpting serum about $30 I think I'm not sure um, and it works super well I'm really really liking this and I've also been using the Olay Regenerist in intensive repair treatment at night and I have been noticing a difference on my skin so really happy with all the Olay products for also for my hair I've been having a flat iron it a lot um, it's really thick it's kind of wavy it never looks good I'm always a mess with my hair but I've been using this got to be guardian angel heat protectant spray for my flat iron it this is says it goes up to 425 degrees my chi goes up to 410 so I love this spray and it smells really really good um, makeup wise, um, I was so surprised when I got this Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. It's been working, I mean, not working, it look, it, the, the way it looked was so nice. Um, it blended really, really well, and I was shocked at how well I really like this. Um, this is a good foundation. I mean, it's not a heavy coverage, but if you're just around the house or something, it, the 
the way this just flows onto the skin is amazing. I was shocked over this. I really like it. Um, I'm trying out a ton of new foundations. Um, I haven't used this in a while, um, but I did like it, so very impressed with it. Um, I've also been loving the Clinique um, High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. Really good stuff. It's about $17. Um, the brush is great. And the formula is amazing. Um, I say go get it and enjoy it because it's totally worth it. Um, I've also um, still using the Prescriptions Formula Matte Collection. Let me show you. This is a great... Well, sorry. I'm sorry it's hit the pan, but this is a great collection. It's great for... Um, doing your eyebrows with the darker color. It's great. I mean, I can make this work in so many different ways. I love it. I've been using the hell out of it. I will continue using it, and I'll probably go get another one um, when there's a sale. Because I love it, and I can't imagine being without this. Um, another quad I've been trying, I've been using is the Maybelline New York natural smokes collection I broke the lid but it's okay I can put it right back on but let me show you it's these colors I like the taupey color at the top and this bone color works really good with my skin so loving this um, I've also been loving a couple of lipsticks and um, this Revlon um, lip or Color Burst Lip Butter um, and number 30 Fig Jam has been one of my December favorites. Don't let the darkness throw you off. Let me do a swatch of my hand. Um, it's really not that dark and it's so pretty on. You see it? So definitely been loving this. Give it a shot. It's really good. Another lipstick I've been loving is the Maybelline Superstay 14 hour lipstick. It really does last a long time. This one is in 025 Beige for Good. It's another brownish taupey tone. And I'll swatch that for you. It's this one. I really, really love it. Um, I, and the gloss I've been using over it is the L'Oreal Color Rich um, Le Gloss in number 152 Nude Touch. It's really pretty. So, loving that. For my nails, I've been loving the Sally Hampton Instant Cuticle Cream Remover. Works great. Doesn't hurt. I love it. And it's helping keep my cuticles looking great. Um, oh, Makeup wise, now I have a huge Avon haul coming up. I'll be doing it exactly in this room, probably today or tomorrow. And um, I will go through everything during that video. But I really have been loving the Avon Glamour Sticks Liquid Glide Eyeliner. Now, I'm not sure how much this costs because I went to order it. My sister in law sells it. And she got a whole bunch of them free for me. So I, I will find out and let you guys know. But this is one of the best eyeliners I have ever used. It goes on almost like a gel liner. You can smudge it. You can smoke it out. Um, you can put it on your top and lower waterline. And it lasts forever. This is a wonderful eyeliner. And totally in love with it. Um... For my lips, I've also been, you know, I, not also, I have been constantly using the Nuisance Selma Hayek, what's it called, Rose, Rose Balm. I love it. Um, mm, it smells so good. It's, it's amazing. I have one in my purse and one in my, on my nightstand. So those are my December favorites. Um, 
Also, um, I'm going to be doing a video of what's in my makeup bag. My daughter went through it the other day and was so surprised at the items I keep in here. She wanted most of them. Um, and I will be showing you that in the coming days. I will also, like I said, be doing the Avon post. Um, it's a haul and I will be going over a lot of the products that I got. And I got a lot of samples that I'll kind of share with you guys. Um... I got a whole bunch of videos coming up, so stay tuned. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these December favorites of mine and if they're favorites of yours or if you do like them, if you don't like them. You can always check out more pictures and more info on my blog at kjaggers.com. Um, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye-bye.